thoroughly enjoyed this evening. Um, very inspirational, very educational, and I hope it's aired throughout the UK. Um, I've personally been to Sarajevo, and my parents originated from former Yugoslavia. So I think um, the filming of Sarajevo and also the school in its initial stages was very inspiring. Um, I would have liked to have seen the outcome of how the school ended up, because when I was out there I, I had the opportunity to see the schools. Um, of course the orchestra was on display as well, but I thought um, if they'd have shown how the schools are now operating, that would have been very, you know, again, inspiring. I've been very fortunate that I've been within the, well, the Gulen movement for nearly 16 years now. Um, I guess it's just the inspiring thing that um, I've encountered is that how rapidly this movement is growing on a daily basis and you know um, how it's reaching people um, from different cultural backgrounds. Oh, most definitely I'd like to see like a second, third, fourth continuous. Um, I did actually um, uh, concur with one of the gentlemen that said that basically there wasn't many sisters that were in the documentary and I think that could be brought into the forefront as well with you know some more sisters being in some of the productions. Um, of course we saw some of our sisters that are doctors and teachers and whatnot. But I think also that um, the movement also has ground level sisters that are quite heavily involved and I don't think that's usually brought, it's usually the academic um, people that are usually brought into the forefront, but sisters that are really striving with um, charity events and programs like that, I think that could also be shown.